Hello and welcome to A City in a Park. My name is Lauren Clark and on behalf of Little Rock Parks and Recreation, I welcome you to this new series showcasing our department. With more than 60 parks, golf courses, community centers, and a host of other programs, we have a lot to share with you. Coming up, I'll take you to Allsup Park for a very special annual event. Our guest today is Sharon Priest. Sharon is a former member of the City of Little Rock Board of Directors and served as Mayor of the City of Little Rock from 1991 to 1994. She was elected and served as the Arkansas Secretary of State from 1995 to 2002. And in 2003, she was selected to serve as Executive Director for the Downtown Little Rock Partnership, where she served until her retirement earlier this year in 2015. She is one of the original founders and serves as the coordinator of the Mac Park Group, which gives support to Little Rock Parks and Recreation Department in the development of MacArthur Park. And now let's join our director, Truman Tolfrey, and Sharon Priest on the bench. Welcome, Sharon, to On the Bench. Thanks, Truman. I'm happy to be here with you, All right. especially here in MacArthur Park. Oh, it's beautiful MacArthur Park. On a beautiful day. Yes, it absolutely is. You know, Sharon, in the uh, Little Rock Parks and Recreation, we are very fortunate to be custodians or stewards of a vast amount of uh, open space and green space. In fact, uh, we're responsible for over 6,000 acres of parkland uh, that encompass roughly 60 parks and uh, a host of other facilities and activities that we do within the department. And being in charge of such a vast inventory of open space and facilities, there's no way that we could do what we do and maintain it at the level that we maintain it were it not for our very dedicated volunteers. And I don't think we have anybody, any volunteers in the entire system any more dedicated than the Mac Park Group. So why don't you tell me a little bit about the uh, Mac Park Group and what it has meant to Mac Arthur Park and some of the things that you've been involved in. Uh, when we first started, one of the things we wanted to do was bring MacArthur Park up to a higher level. So we set about raising the money to do a master plan for MacArthur Park. How, how much money did the uh, master plan actually cost? It cost 100000 for the plan and another 5000 for the uh, model, which we still have. We didn't so you, stop there. Oh, okay. All in all, if you look over the past uh, nine and a half years, if you will, uh, we have raised in public and private dollars, mostly public, but nonetheless, uh, about two and a half million dollars. Two and a half million dollars? Now, exactly where did all that two and one half million dollars go? Some of it went right here on this uh, north plaza on the mm -hmm. north side of uh, MacArthur Park. Mm -hmm. uh, some of it went to uh, Pulaski County Lane and McMass Avenue, which uh, was done through the county. Mm -hmm. And uh, the dog park, uh, oh. some, of it, some of it went there. And that money came from the uh, sales tax that was passed in September of 2011. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. And if you've never been through there, I guess in the evening, you know, when the lights are on, on uh, Pulaski County Lane and that kind of thing, it is absolutely gorgeous. So, and I've got to say absolutely thank you so much to you and the Mac Park Group for all of the wonderful things that you've been able to bring to the park. I mean, you really have been instrumental in helping us to upgrade the park. Mercy Day is our annual once a year um, across the nation. The Catholic community celebrates Mercy Day. And so um, we get the privilege of coming to Allsop and working, but girls from Mount are all over the community today just trying to serve and do what we can to show mercy to the community around us. When you really like, when you're really having fun, it's just like you start singing and it's like, okay, we're cleaning, but it's kind of fun. We're kind of like farmers. <laughs> and. It was just really exciting and then it's like people will come out here and like oh this is a really beautiful park and then we'll come back to ourselves and like we clean this park and we had fun while doing it. I love that I get to be a part of a school where the focus is service and I've taught in a lot of schools but never one that truly put that mercy and that service into action and tried to make it a focus and not just on mercy day but throughout the year we have service learning where they go out in their junior year and um, try to serve the community however they can and so I love that I'm at a school with that spirit and just um, that we're able to give back to the community and do just a little bit to show Jesus out to the rest of the world. You know and you I think you've mentioned another thing that I think is a very important aspect about the beauty of MacArthur Park and by the way 
for those who may be watching and don't know, MacArthur Park was our first park within the that's park system. That's right. And so I think it's very appropriate that, you know, it gets the attention that it's getting now. But there are several different amenities to the park here itself. The other thing that's really fun about this park is it's all, not only is it sort of a neighborhood park, mm -hmm. it's probably in some ways to be considered a regional park, but it's also a destination park because of tourism. We have the Arkansas Art Center, the MacArthur uh, Museum of Arkansas Military History, mm -hmm. the uh, Arkansas Korean War Veterans uh, Memorial. Mm -hmm. Those things are things that bring people to, to this park. And Another portion of our MacArthur Park is the adorable dog park. Here's more from the dog park with our own parks commissioner, Keith Canfield. Well, MacArthur Park is a special park to me, and it's a special park to the city. This is the city's original park. A dutiful citizen and energetic volunteer, Keith Canfield is serving his second year on the Little Rock Parks and Recreation Commission. Today, he sits in one of his favorite places in the city, MacArthur Park, specifically the dog park. This park is unique. I mean, just like what we're sitting on right here, a king of the hill. It's a pile of rocks arranged in a way where dogs are drawn to it. My dachshund was here. He'd be right here on top because it's his only chance to be the biggest dog. But for these few minutes while he's here every day or week, he's the biggest dog in the park. Since Canfield and his wife moved to Little Rock seven years ago, they have always lived near this historic park on 9th Street. I've always lived within a mile or so of this park. And what I really like about it is it's a neighborhood park, but it's also a key anchor park. And if you're here in the afternoon, you'll see people start to walk over with their dogs to go to the dog park. You'll see folks from the neighborhoods come in with their fishing poles. Fishing is just one of the activities one can find to enjoy in MacArthur Park. A playground, pavilion, and walking trail add to this historic landmark which is also home to MacArthur Museum of Arkansas Military History. I've lived in Nashville, Memphis, New York, Baltimore, and I've never seen a city that has a trail system that's that accessible. Canfield is one of 11 members of the Little Rock Parks and Recreation Commission. They are ambassadors for what the department does. What the Parks Commission does is actually advise the Parks Commission, I mean the Parks and Recreation, on behalf of the citizens. So in a way, we represent the citizens of Little Rock. It's a group dedicated to the safety, services, and success of Little Rock Parks and Recreation. That combination of, of the great design work from Parks and Rec, the fundraising from the Mac Park Group, um, you know, the sales tax money, it made this possible. And if not, we'd be standing in some weeds that were underused and overgrown. And it's just a great opportunity to really highlight those partnerships that are possible. Tell me a little bit more about some of the other future things that you uh, have uh, thinking about doing here in the park. Well, we would like to do some improvements to the Foster Pavilion. Okay. Uh, that's and that's one, in the south end of the, the park? That's in the south end of the park. It's right on the pond. Okay. It's just sort of appropriately situated mm -hmm. to have a sound system there, to have lighting there, mm -hmm. uh, That and maybe even in some way uh, to enhance the the acoustics okay because that's one of the that's really one of the big problems for any outdoor venue is the acoustics i, I mean I, I totally agree um also i know that each year the mac park group sponsors a uh, 5k i believe we do yeah uh, that's always the first friday night in may okay and uh that's a really fun event it's uh it's a sanctioned event, if you will, in uh -huh. terms of the, the course is certified. But we try to do, we try to make it fun for everybody, for families, uh, again, for families, for young professionals. Mm -hmm. we, it, we want to use the park so that it benefits everybody. And um, at the 5K, we afterwards, we, we have a band, usually, we, we always have a band. Right. We have pizza, uh -huh. we have uh, other refreshments, and um, it makes for a very, fun event. Hey, and let me tell you also, I mean, the 5K is really a very nice event. As you stated, it's a fun field event, you know, and the food and uh, fellowship afterwards, I mean, it's absolutely great. And, and we have medals. They're not as fancy as the marathon medals, but we do have medals. Well, hey, at least you got medals, okay? <laughs> but also, as I said, if I can participate, okay, and finish the 5K, I think anybody can, all right? 
<laughs> but well, you can come to do the marathon too. Trudy. Well, maybe a little, <laughs> a little bit here and there. Okay, but who's uh, okay? But actually, but it is. It really is a great event. It really is. Well, I tell you what, Sharon. As I said before, we just appreciate what you and the Mac Park Group do because it means so much to not only the uh, Parks and Recreation Department but also for the city itself. And as I said, because of the large inventory that we have, there's no way that we could do what we do in the Parks and Recreation Department. There's no way that we could be as successful as we are were it not for our dedicated volunteers such as you and, your, you and the uh, Mac Park Group. So we want you to know how very deeply appreciative we are. Well, thank you, Truman. And I do want to say um, the Mac Park Group, the people that come on Friday mornings, they're the same people that started 10 years ago. I mean, that's, I think that's speaking very highly of, of the group and the relationship that we have. And, if, and we're a very open group, so if anybody wants to join us, mm -hmm. they're welcome to come Friday mornings at 8 o'clock on the second floor of the MacArthur Museum of Arkansas Military History. All right, and thank you. Thank you for all that you do, because we can't do what we do. We have to keep reminding people this is not the Mac Park Group's park. This mm -hmm. belongs to the city, and we must respect uh, the city and the boundaries that they have to work within too so okay. yeah just a couple more things uh let me kind of go backwards a little bit okay if okay. you will uh that initial meeting that we had and i know there were like maybe four or five other people with you and that kind of thing just i mean how, how did you begin to put that together well we looked at who the stakeholders were in okay. the area of the park the, the museum obviously the art center uh, the law school, mm -hmm. uh, people who were around the park, because you can't plan a park in a vacuum. You, you know how important it is to deal with the edges of the park, too. Mm -hmm. All right. Now to the really important question, okay? What are the grants getting for Christmas? <laughs> I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I have, my grandson loves Legos. So oh, okay. will probably get some Legos. Okay. And uh, my granddaughter is really a girly girl. Okay. So I'm not quite sure what she's getting, but I do know one thing. She is going to see Little Mermaids at the rep. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Well, uh, Sharon, again, thank you so much for sitting with us on the bench today. And Thank telling you, us sir. some about the uh, Mac Park Group and the important role that they have played here in the development of Mac Arthur Park. And we want you to know, and as the information is coming across the screen, if any of you are interested in attending the meeting. Join the group. The Mac Park Group meets every Friday morning at 8 o'clock on the second floor of the MacArthur Museum of Arkansas Military History. Everyone is welcome. No RSVP needed. Just show up and join the conversation. <laughs> so until we meet again here on the bench, this is Truman Toll Free, Little Rock Parks and Recreation Director saying so long until next time.